Okua Egg on the Couch. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to episode eight of Coag on the Couch. Tonight we have Coach Lewis and Coach Maya. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay, well done. They were both very creative entrances, um, but we can only pick one to get the point. And I think my point has to go to Maya because it involved the most technique. What about you, Rebecca? Yeah, I agree 100%. Here, I know that we were getting points for that. I would have done something cooler. <laughs> you want me to do a flip? I don't think I can actually do a flip in here. I might die. Wait a minute. Lewis. Bye. I don't think I can do that. Go on then, have a try. If I did it, then I'm doing it. I haven't done this in years. I feel like I need to do a bridge or something to warm up. <laughs> it's quite scary. Oh! That's a good bridge. I know, I was going to say that is a good bridge. Right, okay. No, I can't do it, I can't do it. <laughs> Right, Maya, you can win that one. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, well done, Maya. I honestly thought I was going to be able to do a backflip there, but... I thought you could. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed in myself. Aww. So, before we start round one, would you tell us what your forfeits are, please? So, we're going to have, like, egg, flour, and... Well, I've got cornflakes, too. I don't know what Maya's got. Like, we're going to put our face in it, like, a different points maybe even like I don't know elbows so round one is our quick fire round so we're going to ask you some questions about our coaches and whoever has the funniest answer or the most interesting answer will win the point so question one what coach is most likely to play a practical joke on their fellow coaches or gymnasts Lewis. me because I remember <laughs> I might, it might actually be Sam that did it but I remember when someone stole Kay Forbes' ID and they had to phone one of the gymnasts because they left it in their joggers, but it was actually Lewis's joggers the whole time. But was that Sam that did it? No, I remember that. That was when we, that was when we hid, it was Innes's, well, I can't Innes's remember, but that was basically, I'm always hiding people's stuff. And I like, <laughs> I hide, like, I hide Chloe's, I've hidden Chloe's shoes on like the top of the rings and like, Kate stuff goes missing all the time. I just like pranking people and like playing jokes on people. And it's a good laugh. I would think the point would go to Lewis for that one since I do agree and you both actually said the same answer. So, Megan, do you agree? Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you, Rebecca. Maya, I think I your face. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, don't do the other side as well. Yeah, put the flower in too. Yeah, but just how we just go like <laughs> You're gonna look like you have a beard. I can smell the flower as well. Oh no, the egg is <laughs> well done. Oh, it's in my nose. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Question two. Which coach is most likely to injure themselves showing off? Sam, because he broke his foot. <laughs> I, would, I would say Sam as well. Me and Sam are always kind of, well, we're really competitive and we just like doing stupid stuff. <laughs> and Sam more so because Sam just like somehow he can do stupid stuff and then be okay, but then he does really stupid stuff and then he like eventually manages to injure himself. <laughs> you remember the time wherever you tried to jump through the hoop and Sam was throwing the hoop? Yeah. Or those times where they hit each other with the bouncy ball and they'd go like, boom. Yeah. <laughs> like, 
it, they would definitely be Sam. That's, yeah, 100% Sam. He's the only one stupid enough to do some stupid things in our gym. I think I would actually give you both the point for that one. Rebecca, would you agree? Yeah, both answers were very similar and very true to form of Sam as well. <laughs> Question three. What coach are you most likely to see joining in with their gymnasts on the apparatus? Me. Literally any time I get to show a demonstration, I'm up there ready to go. <laughs> Wishing I was still a gymnast sometimes. Good up. I always say Chloe, because like she's always like she's always doing her dance with the girls and like on the beam sometimes, sorting stuff. And um, maybe not so much on the bars. Oh, that's a hard one. But then Jolan likes trying out some like pretty crazy stuff that he does. Like Jolan's got good preps that he likes to try out. No, I'm gonna i I'm gonna stick with Corey. Okay, I think I will give my point to Lewis for that one because I do have to agree. Chloe loves to get up and do the dances with her girls and fix things, so I would agree. Sorry, Maya. Egg your face. More egg, more flower. Do the forehead this time. Oh, I really don't want to do this. Oh, it's not working. I can't get my <laughs> Get your face all in there. Just push your head down. Oh, all you're... the way in. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got it. <laughs> oh, this is disgusting. Oh. oh, yuck is dribbling in. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough, Maya. That's enough. <laughs> you look like a snowman. Or a snowwoman. Question four. Which coach would you say has the best fashion sense? Uh, can I say two people? I want to say Kate and Chloe because every time I see them like go out like go out or anything, like they're always just like so nice. And then there's me. So <laughs> 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 Or like all the leggings on or like nice shoes, like Chloe always comes in with new shoes. So I, I kind of want to say Sam because Sam's always wearing like funky stuff, but because like he used to work in Topman in a clothes shop, so he'd like kind of know you'd think he knew, knows how to dress himself, but then sometimes some of the stuff he wears is kind of just like too far, like a bit too fashionable. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and then, but then yeah, I'm between him and Kate because Kate like has cool, like she borrows her brother's like hoodies and boyfriend's hoodies and stuff. And sometimes they're quite cool. So I'm pro I'm gonna go Kate for this one. So I'd have to go um, Maya, because I am also jealous of Chloe's shoe collection. <laughs> so Lewis, I think that means you have to do a forfeit. Sorry. Right in, Lewis. In the egg. Look at my head. What are we doing? Are we doing like side? Side on, like. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. It drives in, Lewis. That's what's worse. <laughs> it drives in after it's sat there. <laughs> Yo. That is not fun. <laughs> <laughs> right, next question. Next question. <laughs> Okay, number five. What coach is most likely to be seen up on the dance floor at the Coag Christmas party? His dance moves are amazing. I love they were the best. Did you say Callum? Yeah, his dance moves were amazing on the Christmas night out. Callum is like, pretty good. Cool. But then Callum does that. Like, his mum's a dancing teacher, so. 100%. Callum is a really good dancer. I'm going to say I'm kind of between Doug and Innes. <laughs> I like Doug likes a good groove, but then Innes Innes is Innes gets a bit confident on a night out, and he enjoys he enjoys being on the dance. Floor. So my my vote's going with Innes. They're both good answers, but none of them were very funny. So I think you both have to do a forfeit. No points for this one. Forfeits each. Oh, it's in my hair, it's in my hair, it's in my hair. 
Uh, uh, my hair. We can't do this for the whole thing. This door gets disgusting. Oh my goodness. Uh, like, I, my eyebrow was like, all cloggy, like. <laughs> Maya, you should have done it in different bits like I have. Like, my, my living room is snowing inside my living room. Like, it's all like, you can you see that? <laughs> no, not really. Oh. My, have you done it yet? I'm ready for the next question. So number six, which coach would you say is the worst driver? <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm the worst driver, but let's say I've only been able to drive for less than a year and I've had two crashes with my car. <laughs> Which none of them was my fault. The first time someone drove into my car when it was parked at Alex Colley, and then the second time someone went out when they shouldn't have gone out and it was my way, not their way. So I'm gonna choose Flick because there's been like on multiple occasions that I've been told a heap of stories about Flick's driving. Um about like speed cameras. One time she had to come and get like folk had to come and pick her up because she her car ran out of petrol. And more specifically, there was one time, this is before she had her eyes done. And she came in like I I came into the gym car park and no word of a lie, Flick's car was basically like sitting in the middle of the car park. Like it was that far away from the end of like the like the pavement bit because she couldn't like she couldn't tell. There was like squint and like in the middle of the car, it was off. But now, it's a bit better now. Driving's a bit better now. I think I'm going to have to go with Lewis because I have been in Flick's car and once she had her indicator on and was wondering why the car behind her was flashing her and it was <laughs> pushed her on to go into the next lane but she didn't actually know she had her indicator on. So I'd have to agree with her. What, and how long was the indicator on for? It was only on for like... 15 seconds but she was like why is that car flashing at me like why is it still flashing at me i'll let your indicators on i'd also give a point to lewis because maya didn't actually answer the question i couldn't think of anyone <laughs> I, I think we're all not gonna have jobs when we go back because flick's gonna have <laughs> resolve <laughs> that's it maya right in to my eye <laughs> Sugar. Oh my god. Oh, that was oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Maya. Oh. oh look at my head. Okay, so round two, we want to first of all see your best party trick and we're going to test your gymnastics ability. Lewis, do you want to show us your party trick first? Yeah, okay. So my party trick is that I can make myself disappear. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to see it? Yeah. Okay, right, you ready? <laughs> Lewis, Lewis, now you're here. Now I want you to disappear. <laughs> <laughs> is that it? Nah, I'm only joking. I if I I'm only joking. I'm actually going to disappear. Though. Lewis, Lewis, now you're here. Now I want you to disappear. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> that was so stupid. <laughs> Is he actually gone? I think his part, it, yeah, has worked. <laughs> it has worked. Oh. <laughs> what are you for? <laughs> I give it up! <laughs> wow! It's a magical, magical towel. Okay, so my party trick is I'm going to try bottle flip this but in handstand. Now I've only done it once or twice at the beginning of lockdown so there's a big chance I won't manage it <laughs> but might as well go for it you know. All right ready. Oh, <laughs> oh yuck that was pretty close Maya. No! Wait. <laughs> that wasn't close. Cool. Yeah. Oh. 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 
TV. <laughs> Go on, Maya. Oh. I'm going to keep going until I do it. Oh, oh, oh. Maya, you're meant to practice your party trick before you came on. Yeah, Maya. I've been doing... Oh, I've been doing magic spells all day. <laughs> I'm gonna make you disappear in a minute, unless you do it. Come on, referees, she's surely not allowed to have like more than- Yeah, more than I'm, I'm not quite sure we're gonna get it, Maya. No, I actually can do it. I'm going to have to award Lewis a point because he was able to do his trick first time. Yay, well done. Maya, Maya, do you want me to make you disappear to, um, just to hide the embarrassment of that? Right, Maya, Maya, now you're here. We want you to disappear. <laughs> see. <laughs> see work. It doesn't work. Right, Maya, I think you need to do a forfeit for that. Yeah, uh -huh. definitely. Like a double forfeit, I think, uh -huh. since we've been here for like four hours trying to watch you do your party trick. <laughs> Can we just show a video of me doing my party trick? No, that doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> right, Maya, what you got this time? I got Rice Krispies, so I guess I can put my face in the egg again and then... Yeah, and then just kind of push them on, like... Pew. <laughs> I can't, like the egg, it's so cold on your face, isn't it? Yeah, I'm disgusting. I'm dripping. Oh, don't. <laughs> Please tell me you're not holding that over the Rice Krispies bowl. No. Let's see it. <laughs> I can hear it hot. Snap, crackle, and pop. They are popping. Um, so the next round is, well, the gymnastics ability thing. Like this. So both have space to yeah. be able to do something. I, I don't, I'm scared in case this all falls off my face. So there's who can hold a handstand for the longest and who can hold a lever for the longest. No. Uh, so the first um, gymnastic skill that we're going to get Maya and Lewis to do is a handstand. So whoever holds it for the longest will be our winner. Three, two, one, go. Oh no! I oh, well done. The retake. Oh, I think Maya won. No. <laughs> no, well done. Yeah. Definitely won as well. It just kicked up much yeah. later than Maya. That was definitely a Maya victory. And then this one's a lever, so you can do whatever type of lever you want. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I got crap. They were good. You spoke so good. Never. Uh, well done. <laughs> Leg. So I think Maya got both points there. So yeah, Lewis double. Yeah. What do you reckon now? Like this bit, cornflakes. Oh, like me. Oh. Nice. Here at the front. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, disgusted. Oh, it sounds like he's eating them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I need to go back into flour because I've got my corn. My um, uh, uh, nice. Oh, guys, this is actually the worst thing ever. So, guys, we're going to move on to round three, and round three today is a game of Would You Rather. Okay, cool. So, the first question Would you rather have a hand? Twice as big or half as small for the rest of your life? Uh, probably half as big because my hands are already small. Lewis? Small. Yeah, I'd go I'd go twice as big because like imagine all the stuff you could like pick up and do with bigger hands. The amount of equipment I could lift, like I wouldn't have to go across to the other side of the gym as much. <laughs> I could just go and lift it all up at once and then take it back. Like I'm definitely going twice as big. 
Very good answer. Very practical. So Maya, um, you've got another four to do. Lewis what? gets that point. You basically said the same thing. Sorry. Oh, I cannot wait to go in the shower. This is disgusting. Well done. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh, dribbling down my face. Nice one, Maya. Okay, the next would you rather is would you rather read minds or be invisible? Okay, mine, mine would be to read minds because then, like, I just feel like that'd be a good skill to have as a gymnastics coach because you'd be able to know what's like what a kid's like going through and what they're like maybe scared of, what they think they're able to do, like that kind of thing. I think I'd rather be invisible because I could like sneak into things that I shouldn't be at. You know, <laughs> go into like secret rooms and that, and they wouldn't even know I'm there and find out secret information that no one's allowed to know. Or I could like sneak into shop chocolate or food anything i wanted they won't even know i took it because i'm invisible very good answers but i think i'd have to agree with maya because i would like to know information as well because i'm quite a nosy person so i'd have to agree with maya on that one oh the whole side you need it all i'm tr i can't fit my head in a bowl maya like literally just well, i actually can't like Oh, yuck. Okay, guys, question three. Would you rather eat a whole tub of mayo or drink a cup of hot sauce? I'd rather have mayo because I don't like hot sauce. Anything spicy, I don't like. So probably mayo, and I'd like to get some McDonald's to go with it. <laughs> fair, fair. Yes. Good answer. I'd probably go the hot sauce because I could be over faster. It wouldn't all be like sitting there like mayo. A whole tub of mayo. We're talking like a big tub of mayo or like how big a tub of mayo? Average size. Like a jam jar. I'm not eating a whole tub of mayo. I'm going hot sauce because it's smaller and then I could just like drink a pint of milk or whatever afterwards and hopefully it'll be fine. I could like spread the mayo out during the day though and have like good three quarters of McDonald's. Oh no, she didn't say you could do that. I think they're both good answers, guys. Um, I would give you both a point for that because they're both very valid and I agree with both points. So no forfeits this time, well done. Question number four. Would you rather only be able to crawl or only be able to walk backwards? I think I'd like to walk backwards because if I can only crawl, you're not gonna get anywhere very fast, are you? I'm walking backwards. I'm like, I'll be able to go a lot faster than crawling. I'm with my on that one. Like, imagine how weird you'd look just crawling everywhere when everyone else is walking. But then walking backwards, imagine how weird you'd look when everyone else is walking forward. I'd say walking backwards because, like, you can still do all the same thing, like cut the grass and stuff walking backwards. You couldn't cut the grass when you're crawling. Okay, yeah, those are both very good answers, both very similar answers but I'm going to have to go with Lewis just because he explained it that little bit more in a practical way. Maya, you need to, it's the explanation that counts. You need to get that. Oh man, that's a big one, Maya. Oh, oh yuck. <laughs> <laughs> Question five. Would you rather 30 butterflies appeared every time you sneezed or one angry squirrel appeared every time you coughed? Right. 30. I'm going I'm going with the sneezing one because I'm trying to not cough at all at the moment because everyone looks at you funny like in the shops and on like when you're out and about. <laughs> um every time I sneeze I'm kind of like quiet one and then plus butterflies are quite nice. Like they're okay. Better than an angry squirrel. I'm gonna go for the angry squirrel because you ever you ever seen those angry squirrel videos on Instagram and like Facebook? Like there'd be a great chance that I'd manage to go viral by taking a video of an angry squirrel on my social media. As long as it doesn't go after me though. Okay, um they were both good answers. I would probably agree with Maya and give her the points because I really don't like butterflies. So I would hate to have 30 butterflies surrounding me. Oh. So sorry, Lewis. What a shame, Lewis. Oh, that's not enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
That was too far, man. Oh, you. you said there, that was too far. Oh, that's funny. I need like flower, like flower writing and cornflakes, everything. <laughs> nice. Wait, I need to put my glasses on so I can Wait, see. that is not. Oh, it's gone on my laptop. Look at the conflict. Oh, Maya, why did you say do it in my hair? The last question, or the last would you rather, is would you rather have a car that can go underwater or a car that can fly? Being honest, I would like both of them, but I have got a cool idea of why I want one of them. So I want a car underwater because there's places that no one have been down water. You don't actually know what's down there because sometimes people can't go that far. So if I had a car that could go underwater, I'd be able to see things that no one's seen. You never know, I might find mermaids, some weird fish, some weird, I don't know, some animals down there that no one's like ever seen before. And you could also just like, to have a nice picnic underwater. Can you imagine like in a car, looking at all the fish around you in the windows, having a wee picnic? I'm gonna say a flying car because, well, flying car, like you'd be able to get anywhere you want to go in the world and you wouldn't have to like go to an airport and be stuck in all the queues. You wouldn't have to be sitting next to a heap of other people paying for flights. You could just jet off somewhere. Underwater just doesn't really, that that would scare me off too much, I think. Like all the sharks and like, whoa. Okay, well done guys. They were both very good answers, but I'd have to agree with Lewis because I also couldn't think of anything worse than being in a car underwater, like anything worse. I think I might go and make an omelet after this is done. Well, might as well. This is absolutely wrong. Yep. <laughs> oh my goodness. Good sport, Maya. Maya. Oh my goodness. Egg, that, egg just isn't nice, is it? I like a good cooked egg, but not a... Oh Maya, I like it, well done. Well done. Very good, Maya. Yeah, I should just get an Four. extra. Oh, it went in my eye. That is the end of our coag on the couch for tonight. I'm Megan, you have coming back on this show again. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Um, you both did great, but we can only have one winner. So with eight points is Maya. And our winner tonight with nine points is Lewis. Oh, so close. Yay. Well done, guys. That was cool. I do not envy the gunk all over your faces. Disgusting. <laughs> I think I might actually scrape it off and have it for breakfast tomorrow. What did we just do? I don't know. Why did we do that? <laughs> Why did we do that? Is your face as bad as mine? I think so. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my goodness, right. Okay, back to the studio, to the best presenter in the world. Hi everyone, I really hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Coag on the Couch. It was great fun to film, although it took me about 50 minutes to get all that stuff off my face afterwards. It was absolutely disgusting. So to put the points on the leaderboard, Maya scored eight points, which puts her on par with Nicole. And I scored nine points, which puts me up next to Sam and Kate. So there we go. Next week, if you'd like to join us, we're going to have the remainder of our coaches on the couch to celebrate a final episode. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Oh, cool, uh, uh, egg on the couch.